G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and welcome to my veggie patch again. Here's where my peanuts used to be and this video is about how to grow peanuts in your own home garden. Now why would you want to grow peanuts when they're such an abundant crop? You know, you get packets of peanuts for basically peanuts in the shops. They're everywhere, there's peanut paste, it's cheap, easy. Well, just because it's easy to get, it doesn't mean you can't grow it yourself. I do like to grow lots of exotic things around the patch that you can't get in the supermarkets, but you can still grow the most common things and I do this because it's amazing what a taste or a, di or a different experience you can get out of something as humble as a peanut when it's growing in your home garden. I'll take you through planting, growing and all those other tips and hints to grow peanuts in the backyard and also in the end what we do with them so that we can eat them at home. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Firstly, you might hear a humming sound in some of my videos. That's just the Enviro cycle going in the background. We started with just two peanut plants bought from the nursery about 18 months ago and then turned it into quite a large crop as you can see there. There are two main challenges when growing peanuts. One is the weeds that happen to grow through the plants just by the sheer nature of how sparse they tend to grow and secondly the time of when you should harvest them it's really difficult to know without digging the plants up when they're ready for harvest usually about four or five months but even so some peanuts mature at different times even though it's the same crop so you tend to get the odd premature seedling like this one here popping up all over the place. Even farmers have a tough time knowing the exact right moment to harvest their crops so it's a bit of a hit and miss and it's sort of just a harvest when you think it's about best but you're going to miss some. The peanut plant itself is not actually a nut. I think most of us know that it's a legume. It's uh, like a bean or a pea uh, except that it grows its flower above ground and most of the plant grows above ground and once it flowers that flower then turns into a tendril or a peg and it, then it pushes underneath the soil and that's where the peanut is formed. It's quite unusual. But it's for this very reason that you've got to keep the weeds down and that's what makes this a really high maintenance crop. Farmers they use herbicides and chemicals and they kill all the weeds and grasses that grow up through the peanuts but ourselves we have to we have to really uh, work to keep the weeds down otherwise that tendril won't be able to get into the soil properly and you won't get a good crop of peanuts. As it was I was a little late on my harvest uh, I have to admit and also I wasn't you know, overly happy I got about a kilo of peanuts but I could have done better I reckon this season if I uh, would have had a bit more luck. Because peanut plants collect nitrogen after harvest just dig the, the waste back into the ground and the nitrogen nodes on the roots of those peanut plants will then add to the soil for any other subsequent crops that you grow and the seedlings or new plants that were dug up or some sprouting nuts they can then be put aside and replanted or potted up ready for the next season. Prepping and cooking peanuts is dead set easy. All that I do is give them a good wash in the sink, give them a bit of a scrub up, put them in a pot, say about four or five litres, a half a cup of salt. It might sound like a lot of salt, but it doesn't come out in the peanuts, but you do want a bit of a salty hit in the peanut juice as you crack that uh, shell when you go to eat them. It's uh, just delicious. So yeah, give that a good stir. Now boil them for about an hour, a good hour, probably no more than that. And you want them at the consistency of um, 
be a, a little bit of a crunch, sort of al dente, but not mushy. You don't want them all, all yucky and soft. Strain them out. Once they've cooled down, I put them in a container, leave a bit of juice with them, but they don't have to be dried off. And then uh, into the fridge and they store like that, they'll keep for a good few weeks. And in my opinion, it's the best way to eat peanuts. All right, so that's how I grow my own peanuts in my own backyard. And also, one of the ways that you can easily cook them up, in this case boil, so that you can eat them. There are different ways to do it. I love boiled peanuts. Nothing better than a boiled peanut, beer and football. But, let's have a taste test. So we've got the immature ones, which are these lighter coloured ones, and then you've got the mature ones. The lighter coloured ones are still great to eat. They just taste a little bit more milky, it's still beautiful. And uh, these ones taste more traditional, of course. Pardon teeth. Okay. Mmm. Beautiful. Oh, it just takes me back to my my childhood when my grandfather used to buy bucket loads of boiled peanuts from the farms and uh, we used to just sit down and watch the cricket for hours eating all these peanuts it's the best way to have them and straight fresh from the home garden you know there is nothing better look if you've never tried boiled peanuts and you wonder what I'm raving on about you just have to do it if you can grow your own sure buy some boiled peanuts and have a go at it. They're much better than the dried peanuts that we're used to. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this show. Got any questions? Whack them down below. Go to our website selfsufficientme.com. If you want to join our forum selfsufficientculture.com, do that as well. It's a free country. It's a free world. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. I'll just have a few more.